Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you a new way of how I'm doing my merch by Amazon niche research and how you can basically find out if a niche has shirts within them in that niche selling on Amazon merch and exactly how many shirts each of those shirts designs are selling each month. So the tool I'm using to do this is Merch Informer. You can get it using the link in my description box below. It's an amazing tool I've just recently found and you can get a three day free trial if you use the link in the description. But I'll show you how it works. So say you're thinking of doing maybe a dog niche, making dog shirts for Amazon Merch, but you're not sure if it sells or not. You can come over to Merch Informer and you can use the product search tool here and you can type in dog. So let's see if there's any dog shirts selling. And then you say, I only want to see merch by Amazon shirts on the site. Only give me those results. So let's do a search for dog. Now, Merch Informer has got to go back to Amazon, you know, do all the requests, get the data back from Amazon. So it'll take maybe around 20 seconds to get that information back to you. But in a second, that information is going to pop up back on Merch Informer, and you're going to see exactly if there are any shirts selling in the dog niche. So, all right, we've done a search for dog. We can see it's come back with 100 shirts in that niche. So there's definitely shirts on Amazon Merch selling in the dog niche. The lowest price shirt in that niche is $12.99 and the highest price is $25.99. So let's see what shirts are coming up in dog. If we go down to keyword count as well, we're seeing that there are, amongst all the shirts that have come back, we've got keywords that are common in all of those different shirts descriptions. So dog is in most of the results. Gift is coming up, great, love. These are all words that are coming up in the description and the titles of the shirts that are coming back as a result. So, let's have a look what we've got coming up. We've got the Dabbing Zoo. Here's a dog shirt here. Best dog dag ever. It was me, I let the dogs out. So you can see that there's a ton of shirts on Amazon Merch that are in the dog niche. So we know that this is a hot niche. It's a niche that shouts. We can also see, if we look at the uh, description information, that how much each shirt is selling for. So this one's $16.95, this one's $40.94. And we can see here, estimated monthly sales, how many copies of these shirts are selling every month. So we can use the information to see if it's a worthwhile niche to get into and start designing ourselves for. So this shirt is selling 77 shirts each month. You know, if it's making around $4 profit, you know, for each shirt it sells, you've got to times 77 by $4 to figure out how much profit you can make in this niche. So we can see there's a tons of shirts and they're all selling, you know, this 28 um, shirts a month, that's selling around a shirt a day. So we can see that there are some profitable designs in the dog niche. And we can even use the designs that come back to drill down even further, you know. So we've got a corgi shirt here. We could maybe then think about doing corgi shirts. Uh, we've got dabbing dogs. There's a dabbing dog here. There's another dabbing dog at the top. I've seen quite a lot of dabbing shirts on Amazon recently. So using this tool, you know, you start to see patterns and consistencies and it really gives you information and like ideas of what you can do in the future. But just the information, the way it's laid out in Merchant Informer, you can do an easy quick search for the dog niche and see exactly how many shirts you can be looking to sell each month if you do a similar design to one of the best selling designs. You can't copy the designs exactly because of copyright law, but it can give you inspiration. So let's just try another quick niche now just for more examples so you can see exactly how amazing this tool is. <clears throat> so we look for car now. We've gone from dog niche to the car niche to see if the car niche is worth something that maybe we could design for in the future and try and sell shirts for ourselves. So we've gone to car. Let's have a quick look. Come on, taking seven seconds, six, five. Let's get this new niche loaded up. Okay, so now we're in car. We can see that there's 100 results brought back again, so there's definitely shirts that exist in this niche. We can see all the keywords associated with that niche in the shirt listings, so we know the type of words that we should be using in our titles and descriptions. And if we go down, we can see the shirts in order from best selling to worst. And here we can see we've got a, uh, like a Boss Cars shirt here from Disney. We've got another car shirt. We've got some uh, birthday shirts. I'm not sure why this is coming up with the car niche. Maybe it's got car in the uh, description, so it's associated with car. Dynaco, that's the car brand from the Disney movie Cars. So we can see there's a lot of <clears throat> the Disney movies, Cars is selling a lot of shirts. Down here, here we can see a uh, Car Guy DNA shirt. It's selling 13 shirts every month. So this shirt's probably less profitable than the other one. Unless you're Disney and you can sell it under the Cars brand, 
the highest you're probably looking to sell in this niche is probably 13 shirts a month. So that's another great example you know, we can see using Merchant Former, you can find the bad niches as well as the good niches. So maybe you might decide this isn't as, e as easy a niche to get into, like more hasn't got the likelihood of making sales as the dog niche did, and you might keep looking and find other designs. But that's it really, I just wanted to give you a quick run through of this amazing easy way that you can find niches, do niche research for Amazon Merch and see if it's a niche worth getting into. Like I said, I'm using Merch Informer to do this research, it's a new tool I've started using, and I'm using the product search area within Merch Informer to find that information out. So if you want to use Merch Informer yourself, use the link in the description box below as a three-day free trial I've just started using it I'm loving it I'm gonna make a few more videos about all the other features that this tool's got because this has basically answered the question to all the problems I was having with Amazon merch up until now so if you want to use that use the link in the description box below make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Amazon merch videos and more making money online videos in general you're watching start starting up all about selling online and building brands online thanks guys bye